name's Clarina Dela Cruz. I'm an instrument scientist at a high flux isotope reactor. I'm what they would call a neutron scatterer. I'm basically a physicist studying condensed matter um, science on materials that we refer to as correlated electron systems. The wonderful properties of these materials gives us fantastic characteristics that are important for technological applications in the future. My favorite that I'm working on right now are superconductors and multiferroics. They have applications in energy transport and memory storage. Superconductivity is a quantum mechanical phenomena, and so in addition to this very obvious uh, uh, property of zero resistance, it has a whole lot of other um, characteristics that are very useful. It, has, it is um, uh, envisioned to be used, for example, to detect very small magnetic fields, and where can we use that? We can use that to image your brain, to image your heart while it's working. One of the most uh, challenging things about working with superconductivity is one, we really don't know the uh, mechanism behind it. And, you know, as with science and technology, we work better with materials that we understand why they work that way so that we can design materials to tune whatever characteristic we want out of these materials. With superconductors, we've, we have so many theories, but we have not nailed it down yet. And so that's one of the biggest challenges and really the most exciting for scientists. Neutrons is a very powerful tool in studying materials. Neutrons tell us where the atoms are and how they move to deliver information regarding their properties. The neutron scattering facilities at RNL are quite unique. Both the spallation neutron source and the high flux isotope reactor are the most powerful in the world, offers a unique suite of instruments that one can do forefront research in material science, in physics, in chemistry. And, and engineering. That's the real reason why I came here. ORNL is a great place for young scientists because it has a legacy of excellence. And you get to meet not only young scientists uh, like yourself, but people with so much experience in the sciences and in relating that science to our community so that you get motivation that you typically don't get just be surrounding yourself with, uh, with people that you work with at the lab. So ORNL presents, uh, has presented me with uh, various opportunities where I grow, not just as a scientist, but as a scientist in service of the world.